Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Akhila Vasanth, Consultant Pediatric Nephrologist at uh, Narana Health City, Bangalore. And on the occasion of World Kidney Day, which happens on the second Thursday of every year in March, I'm here to speak a few words. This year, the theme is about equal access to healthcare for all kidney patients, as well as um, optimal medical treatment. Kidney diseases in children is quite uncommon and when it does happen, it's either because of congenital causes or because of genetic reasons. There can be acquired causes as well. Um, it could be acute kidney injury or there could be other glomerulopathies which are acquired. It can be a part of a systemic uh, disease wherein the kidney gets affected. Low birth weight babies, premature babies and small for date uh, babies can also have kidney disease because um, their nephron number in total will be less because the kidneys grow between the sixth week of gestation to 36 weeks of gestation and majority of the growth of the kidney happens in the last trimester. And if babies are born early, then they don't have enough nephron number and can have kidney disease in the future. Kidney disease is very silent and you can't see any evidence of it until you lose 90% of the kidney function. So in children, uh, we can identify kidney diseases if they have polyuria and polydipsia, which means to say they pass a lot of urine and also drink a lot of water and also have stunted growth, which means to say that the growth is not good. Once they lose around 90% of their kidney function, they can develop puffiness of the face, um, passing less amount of urine, they can have hypertension, headaches, and um, uh, you know vomiting, and uh, you know poor appetite. By that time, uh, they would have already reached the stage of dialysis. And kidney transplant is also an option for children. But having said that, you need to keep in mind that a child may require at least two to three kidney transplants throughout their whole life. So detecting kidney diseases early is very important and your doctor may write a blood test, urine test, do some scans or genetic testing or you know, your child may even require a kidney biopsy. There can be other um, conditions called as nephrotic syndrome which can present between two years to ten years of age. This is quite common and uh, this is not kidney failure, it is just that the kidneys become a little bit leaky and uh, leak protein in the urine and it's treated with steroids. It can present at various uh, levels of difficulties in terms of steroid sensitive, steroid dependent or steroid resistant nephrotic syndrome. And this requires long term follow up uh, with the nephrologist and uh, regular medications, adherence to the medications. There can be some congenital abnormalities in or genetic conditions called as CACUT. Uh, so your child may actually require a surgery by a pediatric surgeon and uh, also input from the pediatric nephrologist. Certain uh, genetic conditions in terms of you know, diabetes uh, insipidus, nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, or Barter syndrome, or uh, renal tubular acidosis, they do not mean kidney failure, but they still mean the child has a kidney problem and requires long-term follow-up. So on the occasion of World Kidney Day, my message to all children would be to keep yourself quite active. I want you to go out on walks with your parents, uh, choose a specific sport, keep yourself active, um, spend less time on the mobiles and TV, uh, that is very important. Number two, you have to eat healthy food in terms of fruits and vegetables and try to avoid or lessen the intake of junk food. Number three, drink plenty of fluids, especially uh, uh, message to the teachers would be to let the children drink plenty of fluids during the school time and also pass urine at regular intervals. If your child has got recurrent urine infections, please take them to the doctor. If the child has got any abnormalities in any scans when they were little, then please take them to the doctor and get it checked over and um, make sure the follow-up visits are frequent or as directed by the doctor. If your child has got high blood pressure or diabetes, Again, it's very important to get that treated and keep it under control because kidney failure can happen as a result of it as well. Do not um, use over-the-counter drugs in terms of uh, you know, painkillers or antibiotics without the consultation of a doctor. It is very important that medicines are taken only as per the direction of the doctor. Uh, avoid episodes of dehydration, so you need to drink plenty of fluids and reduce the intake of fizzy drinks or 
processed foods because um, they are not really healthy for the kidneys. Also a request um, to the local pediatricians that, uh, you know, to refer children early if they're not growing, especially this can be checked um, when they come for vaccination visits, as well as the uh, policy makers to help us provide health care to kidney patients equally all over the world. Thank you.